Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hard to Find for Kaiser against Bulgaria. Let us continue off where we last left off. So, uh, can we fix at the end of Black Monday? Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. So, let's look at some of these other civil wars being going on. So, Russia is currently winning against the Soviet Union and absolutely crushing it in Finland. Good uh, for you. And again, that does kind of change my thoughts on allying with the Russians. Because, like... I mean, we, we've never really allied the Russian faction ever before. I mean, we've been the Russia. We've been Russia. We haven't actually joined our faction. So, what else do we need to do for this? We need to be at peace. Russia needs to be peace with the, uh, with the Soviet Republic. And I need to increase size of Russia and seek new alliances. Is that in the liberal tree? Seek new alliances. Where is that? It's over here. Which is... But is it, what, what was the other one we need? We need to increase tribes with Russia as well? Seek new alliances. Are there, unless there's one in here that's the same thing. There's not. So how, is it... I'm very confused. Oh, one of the following. I'm incredibly stupid. Ignore everything I've been saying. Okay. So Germany has troops here. I don't know why. I mean, are you at war? Did you declare war on them? No. Are you a colonial country and that's why? Yes. So you shouldn't actually be calling them in, I, th I think. But we'll see. So it looks like um, Austria's winning against Hungary. Not a huge surprise. That'll end up pretty soon. Uh, CNT, FII looks like they're winning, but we'll... I mean, that can always change. And... American Union State's not looking so hot. So, the Pacific States, I think the CSA is going to win in the, in the U.S. Which is incredibly disappointing, but is what I think is going to happen. You go to over there. Like, we've been doing pretty well, I think, so far in... Um, been doing pretty well so far in terms of... Getting these surrounds all these troops, which is nice. Lithuania's trying to declare their independence. Oh, it's, it's not going to last very long. I mean, it's Lithuania. For God's sake. So, you know. So you march your way over... I mean, I guess you march your way here. The cavalry, you basically just march your way along the coast. And then onto the Georgian border. Take all those cities. And the national school right Ruthenia. Maybe you are having issues. Well, it depends on if White Ruthenia actually declares their independence, which they probably won't. Oh, I didn't know they just White Peace. They're not in a faction anymore. Germany might declare one White Ruthenia. Again, not that that really makes a difference overall. Okay, you're moving. Again, we can actually get this round here. Lithuania joined the lithuanian Ruthenian alliance. Okay. When do you leave? Two days? One hour? We can get more surrounds going on. Which I think is in our best interest. When do you leave? Okay. You can start leaving now. You move in this direction. Because again, I don't want them... I mean, I want them to get surrounded. How long do you get there? Nine hours. So that should be fast enough. There we go. So you don't need to be on the attack anymore. You'll get there in one day, so... I mean, soon-ish. Yes, so six more hours. We got another beautiful, beautiful surround. And just try to crush these guys. How many troops do you have right now? Uh, 22, so about 25 guys. I mean, we've been doing our part. According to this, we've done 44% of Ron's on 16%. I mean, I kind of disagree with those numbers. I think I've done more. Just by the fact that I've captured every major Ottoman city. Like, literally, I think we've taken basically all the territory that's mostly Turkish. Other than, you know, over here. 
The rest is basically Arab, so... I mean, we'll see how it goes. Again, how many boats do you have? You have 28 to 34 boats. We, we're, we need to invade Cyprus. Which is incredibly dumb, but we have to do it. Do you have naval invade superiority here, at least? No. The Dutch Revolution. So did you go... Oh, the Botany Commune is back. Hello. Are you going to go to war with Germany? I don't know. Because you're at, you're still at war with... Indonesia. Which shouldn't even happen, but... Nationals victory in South Africa. Not a huge concern of mine. How about you attack here? You push here. You go here, keep on pushing to every big city. Yeah, that will solve that issue. You're basically dead, so I'm gonna go you go to Aleppo. It's not Aleppo, it's just Aleppo. All the Egypt and Ottoman Empire ended their hostilities. Okay, so they've done that. We still need to get down this. Okay, they, they should capitulate today. Thank you very much. Take all states and turn. So, I mean... That's probably about what I would have done anyway, so I'm not too, too concerned about it. So now. Now, now, now. It's time. For the war with Romania, as soon as all my troops get back, of course, you know, that'd be ridiculous to suggest otherwise. So two of these cavalry divisions, I'm assuming it's just you, are supposed to be in this army, so go over there, please. We have planes and reserves. I mean, aren't you bombers? I mean, you're a tactical bomber. Is that different from a... Uh... I don't know, but I think eventually you'll just get groups into these guys, so... I'm not too worried overall. So, the conquest of Anatolia has completed. Why would I... No, we're gonna form a Turkish Republic. And Cyprus... We'll just give it to Turkey. I don't know if we need two countries there, to be honest. So there we go! A beautiful Turkey. A beautiful Bulgaria. We're looking pretty, pretty good so far, I would say. We go back up to speed forward until our troops can actually arrive home. And as soon as I end up Black Monday, we're going to go down the, you know, liberals have won again. And I think we're going to ally with the Russians. Because I think, you know, they are going to win against the Soviets and the Finns. And because it's different than just allying with either the Reichs Pact or with um, Austria. It's more, it's more interesting, I would say. So... We're going to go increase ties with Russia, 35 days. And also, having Russia on our side... Yeah, everybody's a little bit upset. With the political power, though, beautiful. I mean, things worked out pretty well. It's going to take a few days, 35 days. Our troops are on the border, though. So, Romania... Yes, I, I do want to attack Romania. I don't... I don't think attacking Serbia first is the right answer. I mean, they've lost so far... Um, about five... Half a million men in total. You're basically going to go like that. Why do you not feel confident moving? There you go. And go down to speed 4. I mean, this war should basically end... Like, now, almost. Like, they're not going to live that long. I can tell you that. There they go. They capitulated. Not a huge surprise. 
So that war's over now. Of course, I'm not going to give Serbia or Romania jack. This is all my territory. Okay, I've noticed the war is still going on. Like, the game hasn't realized that the, the war is over. Serbia, you want a non-aggression pact? I mean, that'll... Okay, I was going to say that might solve some of my issues, but... Apparently not. You guys delete this plan. You can hang out here, that's fine. Orange, you can hang out on the Serbian border. Does the game not... Like, you're not alive. So I'm not... We only lost like 700 men, and we just steamrolled them. I mean, it's nice, but... Infantry equipment. Uh, what do we need? 150 days. 91 days. So we're pretty, we're looking pretty good on everything. So we'll put two, two, and two into everything. Hey, game. The 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 war is over. They've already capitulated. Just so you know. There we go. Okay, you finally figured it out. But no, I'm taking everything because you don't deserve it. How do I only have 18 points? Get out of here. The annexation of Romania. I mean... Occupy them, political powers. Like... I don't know. I'm actually curious. What happens if I create a kingdom of Romania? Do I want to create a puppet? I mean, I'm a kingdom, right? Like, I'm not... Am I a kingdom or am I a... I uh... No, I think we're... I think we're a kingdom. So, we'll just create a republic. Oh, it puppeted the whole thing? Oh, absolutely perfect. Fine. That's a okay by me. I'm assuming it gives that. I'm assuming it just makes the tag my puppet. Yeah, I was kind of like, eh, I kind of wanted to take the territory from them, but. I mean, if that's, if that's what happens, then I am completely okay with that turn of events. I want you guys on this border. Thank you, Romania. For being a good friend of mine. Our Romanian Republic. I think that's a little bit bugged. Like, the game's not expecting this kind of thing to happen. It's probably just a mistake. How many convoys do we have? We have 162. Not a lot. So let's build two convoys. And then we can also just declare war on them right away. I mean, what we're doing right now, basically attacking them in piecemeal, has been working out pretty nicely. Again, how many troops do you have? You have 9 to 11. You have about 12 divisions. So what would be better? A Greek war or a Serbian war? Do you have any... Like, where's the oil reefs? It's in this province. Okay. So... I mean, Serbia is the one that just had a war and they're kind of low on uh, organization. But we don't have the political power to do so. God damn it. You win this time, Serbia. You win this time. But one day... You'll have a, you'll have a hard time. Is there another war going on? Oh no, it's in the Chinese Union. Okay. I thought, I thought Thailand had like a second revolution. Be like, oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, return to Turkish lands. Absolutely not under any, <laughs> any under circumstances will that happen. So... About a month until an invasion can happen. I'm assuming after this they're going to go for the Congress of Belgrade. Ultimate to Bulgaria. Well, we're definitely not going to say yes to that. And it should I call in their, our puppet to it? Like, that's a bit ridiculous. Yeah, but I definitely don't want to join the Austrians or Germans anymore. I don't think they, you know, they don't provide as much benefit to me as, you know, 
what I have right now. Lithuania is capitulated, not a huge surprise. Do I have the ability to make my own faction? I don't think I do. Unfortunately. So we'll, we'll get the ties with Russia. Try to get the alliance. Because right now I feel like we're doing pretty, pretty well. I mean, the Soviets should lose. Hopefully we don't get in a situation where they're just in Petrograd for 500,000 years and nothing happens. If that's the case, I'll just kind of, I'll fix it manually. We got some better decryption, you know, just in time for the war with Turkey. Okay, so we're getting all the stuff we want. 1940, let's get better encryption. Somehow Hungary's not capitulated yet. I'm surprised, but I mean, they're very close. They're 25%. Yeah, but I mean, Serbia must have taken a bit of a beating in that war. So, Bulgarian Russian trade deal. Let's keep. Let's do these first two, because maybe it'll give us a better odds of actually getting the alliance. How many men do you have? You have 15 divisions on your own as well, so. And Turkey right now has zero, but that's fine. I'm sure that will resolve itself in good time. Who's he going to charge here? It's met on you. I have no idea how to say that because of the little uh, little dots. I don't know how you actually pronounce those. So we're at 43. But we can't do that until Russia's at peace with the Soviets, so... Congratulations to the winners. Russia has accepted to be friends. Non-aggression pact with the Russian Republic. Yeah, so I think a Russian alliance here. So Russian-Bulgarian invasion of Austria, Germany, France. Basically, we're just going to go like here and then we go bleh and take everything. I think that is... I think that's our end goal. And a nice little end goal it is. So we have about a million rifles. So... Well, are we at max population right now? Almost. We almost have as many as we possibly can. We can add units. Let's train up some um, military divisions. We don't have any tanks. We have no motorized yet. There are like at least a handful more factories before that happens. We can also cut down on um, infantry equipment because we have 15,000 in storage. So I don't think we're going to be running out anytime soon. Also, maybe just train like a handful more cavalry division, just because again, we have the ability to use them. And by, and by that, I mean that we have a bunch of infantry equipment and I have nothing else to do with it because all our infantry equipment, all our infantry divisions require more than just that. I mean, you could probably answer that question with, hey, why did you delete the infantry equipment that didn't have the artillery at the beginning of the game? It's a great question. I don't have an answer for you, but... These guys are slowly training up. These guys at least have all their supplies. I don't think... You guys didn't even get up to, um... Experience, because the war was won so fast. See, these guys are training right now, which is great for us, because that'll mean that... For example... Right... You know, not right now. We'll wait until next episode. So this is going to be a little bit short, but tune in tomorrow for the invasion of Serbia. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, run a thumbs up. If not enjoyed, throw your thumbs down. Watch more, subscribe, and goodbye.